Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. I'm Alex and I hope all is well for you. Today is Wednesday the 11th of August 2021 and we shall start with all these Obama party stories that are in the press. Here we see crown jewel royal family news utter humiliation for Meghan and Harry as Barack and Michelle Obama choose team queen over Sussexes. Now, there are a number of these stories in the press, all regarding Obama's 60th birthday party, a party that has drawn some criticism from certain quarters of the press and more so from social media. But before we get into it, that we see this story, it says, in what many have perceived as an A-list snub, neither the Duke nor Duchess of Sussex made an appearance at the former US president's 60th birthday party over the weekend. It wasn't as if the affair was low-key, as guests at the Obama's 12 million Massachusetts mansion included Jay-Z, Beyonce, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg and George Clooney, so the Sussexes' no-show sparked interest. Although it is unclear whether Harry and Meghan weren't invited or simply didn't want to attend, royal expert Camilla Tomini suggested that Obamas may not be keen on the Sussexes' relentless attacks on the families. She wrote in Telegraph that Meghan and Harry's recent sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey may have isolated the couple. It arguably will not have gone down particularly well with a couple that have always put family first. To see Harry and Meghan being so openly critical of their royal relatives during their Oprah interview, she added. So, once again, we have the toxic Camilla Tomini doing what she does best, and that's living in a pretend world and imaginary world, where she doesn't know anything, so she just estimates and guesses. Pure, unadulterated waffle. And of course, all of that talk is always to paint a negative picture of Meghan and Harry. Strange how when she has no details or no facts, and is forced to estimate or predict what may or may not have happened. She always estimates something that attempts to make them look bad. Ah, I think I know why this is. She must be part of the smear campaign against them. What else can it be? She has been doing this for the last three years. Here in the Daily Mail, we have another toxic person, Angela Levin, doing the same thing. These two reporters should join forces, call themselves the toxic twosome, the poisonous pair. Anyway, this one brings William and Kate into the mix. Obamas didn't invite the Sussexes to Barack's 60th birthday party because they will go towards William amid rift and can see through the Duchess, Prince Harry's biographer, claims. So you can imagine the rest, and it's all a load of made up rubbish. These two haven't got a clue about anything, all speculative. Who knows, maybe Meghan and Harry were invited and decided not to go. It's not like this extravagant birthday bash was received well around the world. Here we see in the New York Post, private jets and no masks. How Obama's party was height of elite hypocrisy, it reads here. The Obamas hosted hundreds of guests, all free to go unmasked, while their 200 servers were reportedly forced to mask up. The tiny island's residents, meanwhile, endured a SHIT show of traffic and sudden road closures enforced by the Secret Service. Is there a more disgusting display of elitist rules for thee, not for me, than this? And I can't disagree. There is something very ugly about events where the rich and the powerful are walking around with no masks while the servants around them are expected to serve them and there was videos and photos leaked from the event which got a huge negative response from people on social media. Here we see another article, Barack Obama labelled a hypocrite for celebrating 60th birthday with 400 people. So with that in mind, probably a good thing that Meghan and Harry were not at it, as I don't think it's a good look. I'm going to estimate they probably were invited and turned it down. And unlike the royal reporters, there is no deliberate negative spin on my speculations and estimations. In other news, we have another new signing for Archwell and the Netflix deal. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's production company hires Fargo producer 
for upcoming Netflix shows. Yes, Fargo. I've watched that and it's very a good high quality show. The name of this person is Nashika Kumble and she will serve as a senior vice president of scripted TV for Archwell Productions. It says here, her title will be senior vice president of scripted TV. Previously, Kumble served as vice president of development and production at Latrain Productions, headed by Rashida Jones and Will McCormack. Prior to that, Kumble held the role of director of development at Noah Hawley's 26 Keys Productions. There she produced several seasons of the hit FX series Fargo and Legion. According to a statement from Archwell, Kumble will lead all scripted television productions and work closely with Netflix, produce entertaining content from diverse voices that informs, elevates and inspires. Kumble isn't the only new addition to the Archwell team. Chanel Eastnick was recently hired as head of Unscripted TV. Eastnick has previously worked as CNN's director of development for original series, as well as director of international content for Disney+. Ben Browning has been named head of content for the production company, and Rebecca Sanans will serve as head of audio. Thank you for listening and I will see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what you think about Meghan and Harry not turning up for that party.